I hope this finds you well. One of the most valuable things to an individual are their inalienable rights. But how are those rights affected for children in schools? You know, the right of freedom of speech, freedom from search and seizure, those kinds of things. Well, in today's case, we're going to look at freedom of speech in public schools. The case we're looking at is Tinker versus Des Moines Independent Community School District. The case was decided on February 24th, 1969, by a vote of 7 to 2 under the Warren Court. The question before the court was whether a school's prevention on a symbolic protest actually violates a school-age student's freedom of speech that is guaranteed by the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. So here are the facts. It was 1965 and a group of students in Des Moines, along with some of their parents, held a meeting at one of the students involved in this case at his house, Christopher Eckert. He was 16 years old at the time. And what their meeting was about was a public showing and protest against the Vietnam War. What they decided to do was to wear these black armbands. They're now known as the Tinker Armband because of the case. So their demonstration was going to start on December 16th of 1965. And what they were going to do is wear these black armbands and then they would fast on New Year's Eve. So the principals decided on December 14th to create a policy that basically stated that any student wearing an armband would be asked to remove the armband and if they refused to remove it then they would be suspended from school. There were three students, Mary Beth Tinker and her brother John Tinker and Christopher Eckert, who refused to remove their armbands when they were asked to remove them. John Tinker was 15 years old, Christopher Eckert was 16 years old, and these two were both in high school. Mary Beth Tinker was John's sister and she was 13 years old and she was in junior high school. So each of the three were suspended and that's when they decided to bring suit. Both the District Court and the United States Court of Appeals for the Eighth Circuit upheld the school's actions, finding that it was necessary for them to limit the students wearing these armbands in order to prevent disruption. However, the Supreme Court didn't agree. The Supreme Court reasoned that it was a passive expression of an opinion and there was no disorder associated with the wearing of these armbands. The Supreme Court also gave us a further understanding of the First Amendment by stating that even though a view may be politically charged, a student can still express that opinion as long as it doesn't affect the rights of others. And famously, the Supreme Court stated that students do not lose their First Amendment rights of freedom of speech once they enter the school gates. For the school officials to win, they must be able to prove that the conduct, the wearing of these tinker armbands or black armbands, materially and substantially interferes with the school itself. Des Moines School District couldn't do this because their actions were motivated by fear of possible disruption, not that there was any actual disruption or interference within the classroom. So ultimately, the Supreme Court ruled that students do not shed their personal rights once they show up at school. Justice Black wrote a dissent, and his argument was basically that the First Amendment should be limited to speech alone. And here, the wearing of armbands, in his opinion, didn't constitute speech. And he also agreed with the school district that the wearing of those armbands was disruptive in itself and it did interfere with discipline. Justice Harlan also wrote a dissent and in his dissent he didn't see where the school board had any kind of improper motive for implementing the dress code if you will. So where are they now? Well Mary Beth, the youngest of the three, according to Wikipedia, goes on speaking tours in the United States and teaches young people about their rights, which is uh, pretty cool in my opinion. Thanks for watching.